यो व्हाट्सअप गायस प्रज्ञान हेयर करेंटली ए सेकेंड ईयर एम बी बी एस स्टूडेंट एट एम्स न्यू डेली एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल एंड वेलकम बैक टू अ ब्रांड न्यू फ्रेश एपिसोड ऑफ स्पिलिंग आउट सीक्रेट्स एंड टूडे विद दस वी हैव भोरा वरुण हु वॉज ऑलरेडी रैंक वन इन नीट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड ही स्कोर्ड फुल मार्क्स एंड प्रीटी श्योर यू गैज ऑलरेडी नो हिम बट आई वुड स्टिल आस्क हिम टू इंट्रोड्यूस हिमसेल्फ टू ऑल ऑफ यू हाई एवरी वन आई एम वरुण चक्रवर्ती बोरा आई सिक्योर्ड ऑल इंडिया रैंक वन बाई स्कोरिंग सेवन ट्वेंटी बाई सेवन ट्वेंटी इन नीट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री करंटली आई एम स्टडिंग इन एम्स डेली So guys let's get into it So guys before we begin let us ask him about his background So I am from Andhra Pradesh and my district is Srikakulam uh, my both parents are teachers working in a government uh, school and my sister is also a neat aspirant and uh, she is uh, present uh, doing MBBS in my district she is in third year uh, so starting with the first question tell us about your neat preparation journey in short so uh, before uh, coming to neat i am actually preparing for engineering course but uh, due to a bit of uh, phobia in mathematics i changed my career towards a doctor uh, after starting uh, this neat preparation uh, i took a admission in sri chaitanya institution where i face some difficulty during the initial process like uh, i have to read more bio- biology because we have to remember uh, many things but eventually i got habituated and i did well and i think my need journey uh, made me learn many things i think which i may miss if i take engineering course and i luckily uh, did my neat in my first attempt and that's it uh, about my neat journey so varun what was your biggest mistake during your preparation so i don't say it as a biggest mistake but it i say um, it as a not a it's a bad habit actually i am actually a lazy student initially i don't want to uh, do some uh, paper stuff while uh, solving problems i i like i just uh, do it in my mind and i used to answer the uh, questions but eventually i found that like we have to do at least uh, 180 questions so wh- when the mind runs these many questions there is a good possibility that we make mistakes and i i have known that and i seriously made many mistakes in many of my mock tests so i think laziness is uh, one of the biggest bad habit i i have faced in my journey So now let's talk about your bio preparation strategy. So uh for need I think biology is the most important subject. So initially I am a bit uh, like facing problem how to prepare biology because I don't know initially how uh, how biology will be and what we have to remember in every line like wh- while reading NCERT. But uh, i think for biology reading ncert is very crucial uh, and other than i th- i don't uh, refer any books other than ncert for neat preparation but what most students want to do is they don't practice many questions in biology what they do is they are uh, like they will read ncert thoroughly like uh, five times six times yet even 10 uh, times also but i think when you are reading and uh, these many times without any so uh, question practice you may not like uh, most of the questions like most of the topics which you are not able to understand will get uh, like they will be submerged under the uh, this process because you you are not able to find those questions so what i used to do is i used to read one chapter and i used to solve as many questions as possible in that chapter and then i i used to find some uh, like loopholes or whatever uh, like mistakes in those chapter and i used to correct it by again reading after solving questions so i have did this even in my like initial uh, like not be- even before revision and even during revision also i have done that i think though it it may be like uh, it won't give 100% confidence but it will give you sh- a good surety that you have covered all questions which can be asked from ncert so i suggest students to solve as many questions as possible as you do in physics and chemistry in biology also and reading is obviously an important one 
I think NCERT is enough for NEET. So where did you practice questions from? So I think uh, every institute has a, a, a good questions because if for every institute the base is previous year question papers. So uh, I used to practice my own institute's question bank, and but during uh, like during last days of preparation, I practiced almost I think from 2016 to 2022 NEET papers so that I can understand the view of the paper setter so that uh, like. I can understand the trend. I can understand how the questions answers are given by the paper setter. So I think it's very crucial uh, for a neat aspirant to refer previous question papers. And I think if you are asking me to refer any book, I think uh, MTG is a good source. And even your, but uh, it is it should it is uh, highly recommended that you should be comp you should completing your uh, institute question banks first. Okay, so for bio, only bio NCIT and question practice and also the PYQs. This is the most important thing and question practice first from your coaching packages and after that you can move on to some other reference book. Okay, so that was a really nice strategy. Uh, so now let's talk about your chemistry strategy. So uh, when whenever we talk about chemistry, we mostly think it as a problematic subject just like physics, like there will be more questions which are mathematical. But when I uh, like started doing the uh, like complete syllabus papers, I got to know that like it is not just a uh, like mathematical subject, but there is a good chance of theoretical questions can come in chemistry. So I think it is a small mistake which I made during my preparation because before attempting complete test syllabus, like uh, I think I, ha I, I didn't concentrate more on theory. But after uh, giving those tests, I uh, know that I like I did I regretted it, and then I started reading NCERT. Then, uh, but luckily I have enough time to read NCERT. So I recommend students to read NCERT even for chemistry, not so thorough like biology, but at least it should be read one to two times be before attempting NEET because like. There is a high chance they are uh, they are giving just statements by just copying the lines of NCERT. So I think most of the students are able to uh, do the mathematical questions, but where most students are making mistakes are uh, the theoretical questions which are asking from NCERT. So I recommend you can uh, do chemistry problems from your institution package, but you should be focusing on theory like uh, inorganic and organic mostly from NCERT and you you should be doing it like you you should be visualizing each and every page of ncrt before attempting it i think uh, reading ncrt chemistry is enough for theory but for problems you should be doing uh, like i think institute package has good amount of uh, sums and if you want you can also do mains questions for uh, problems i think i think this is enough for neat chemistry Okay, so that was a good strategy. Uh, so now let's talk about the most feared subject of the aspirants, that is physics. So what was your strategy to tackle it? So uh, I think I made the same mistake which most of the students do. Like I completely seen physics as a mathematical subject and I used to practice only theoretical, uh, only problematic questions throughout uh, uh, my journey. Like until before revision, I am doing the problems and Though actually using my not uh, usual logic sense, I am doing the theoretical questions which are uh, coming in my mock test. But uh, suddenly, uh, when I uh, when I, but even even during my mock test also I used to uh, make mistakes in most of the theory questions. But uh, when I seen uh, previous year questions, I have seen like they are uh, giving at least ten to uh, like ten to fifteen questions based on theory. Then uh, like it uh, feared me a lot and I think I feared for physics more than chemistry and biology before attempting it. But uh, then I made a strategy like reading each and every chapter of NCRT like biology is not good for physics. Uh, but uh, there are some chapters which, uh, which uh, every student who are preparing for NEET they will know this these chapters are a bit theoretical and these chapters are a bit mathematical so what i done is i think second year part 2 has more uh, theory chapters and i started uh, reading that uh, theory chapters again and again 
and i suggest uh, students to first see the each and uh, like um, like at least read ncert of each chapter once and you will get to know like which chapter is more theoretical and which chapter is normal to you and you have to focus on the chapter which is uh, a bit difficult for you while reading theory and uh, in which chapter you are not able to understand these statements uh, which are written in ncert so i think uh, for problems you should be uh, doing institution package it is very important because we can't decide what type of questions they can prob mathematical questions they can ask in it but i think if if it comes to theory i think they are not crossing the limit of ncert they are giving every question from ncert so you should be very like uh, you should uh, like you should be like uh, whatever you do in biology you have to do in some chapters of physics like i if if you ask me i think semiconductors and uh, this nuclear nuclear physics all these things are like uh, uh, they they don't have a big chance of giving mathematical questions from that so there is a high chance there will be theoretical questions from those chapters so i planned my uh, preparation uh, revision schedule like that i focused mostly on the these ch theory chapters before neat and i think i made it uh, before neat and i scored good in physics also uh, so basically for all the subjects you uh, put priority on your ncert and then question practice from your coaching packages and if you got time you moved on to other references yes. books if required yes. otherwise mainly you focus on your coaching packages only i am pretty sure guys you got to learn a lot from already rank one himself so uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe for the next episode and thank you so much bora varun for coming on the channel thank you signing off bye bye